would set about with the idea that I want to exceed expectations. I want to exceed expectations of every movie that we make. I want to exceed the expectation of the audience. You do that, you have success. You, you know, that's how Blockbuster is sort of made. And that was true of every animated movie, every television show, every Broadway play. Like, we started from a place of we have to uh, try to exceed the expectations of our customers. And I have thought about it in the context of people that I worked with. And it's easy in any organization, in any job, to get into a, what becomes sort of routine. And the way I would try to sort of um, work against routine, because I think routine creates mediocrity, is I would try to exceed expectations. So every Monday, you know, we would have a story meeting where everybody would come in for the weekend and talk about what they read. I would always try and inject something into that meeting that made it exceptional so that people went out of it with a, with a level of enthusiasm. So I then started to think about it. Well, okay, uh, if it's true in my work, um, I want it to be true about my friends. What you all will find in life is if you're, you know, quite rich in your friendships, you'll have a handful of them. You know, we were talking before, my oldest friend, literally, back to when we were in our 20s, is Jerry Bruckheimer. You know, who just had his greatest success of his career. <laughs> you know, talk about an old dog who's still doing it. Um, but, uh, I work hard to exceed the expectations of my friends. Uh, you know, and whether that's picking up the phone and calling them or seeing them or engaging with them in a way that I'm always thinking about how to make that relationship exceptional. Then I started thinking about it in terms of my kids. You know, I wanted to exceed the expectations of my kids and I worked all the time, but when I was with them, I actually put, I would, I, I looked at them through the eyes of, can I, can I exceed their expectations? And you can't do it every day. You can't do it in everything. And this, I've been married for 48 years. I'm still trying to exceed the expectations of my wife. <laughs> my bar. Um, <laughs> um, but I would just say for, for you, as you go out into the world, whatever you do, doesn't, whatever, job it is you take on, whatever the circumstances, if you, if you look at things through that lens of trying to do better than what is expected of you, whether it's of your, your boss, your fellow workers, your friends, your relationships in this, I think you will find your, the, the rewards that come back at you are uh, really quite quite amazing. And, and, and so it just goes into the world of I'd rather be a giver than a taker. And that's what I have worked hard to do. And I wish I had had the, the presence, the understanding of that uh, earlier on. And I, I just think I would have, um, I don't know whether I would have been an ounce more successful or whatever, but I just think uh, it, it would have uh, rewarded me more. Thank you. Thank you for it, but just very quickly, and we'll take a little photo with the students and Jeffrey. So what led me into education, some of you know, 